everyone. Thank you all so much for being with us today. Um, I want to thank Governor McMaster. Thank you so much for recognizing us today with this amazing proclamation. Um, my name is Grace Lady, and I have had the great pleasure and honor to serve as the president of USC Dance Marathon this past year. Almost exactly 12 months ago, myself and the 2020-2021 executive board, board of directors and staff stepped into USCDM focused on one thing, funding and supporting the Child Life Program at Prisma Health Children's Hospital Midlands. We were not sure when we would return to campus, what our campus would look like, if our students would even wanna join us in such an unimaginable and difficult year, or if any form of in-person event would even be feasible. But we knew that we had a commitment and an opportunity to change the lives for thousands of children and families facing incredible hardship through a pandemic in which hospitals have been stretched extremely thin. And thus, we set our sights high. 12 months later, I am overjoyed and proud to say that we have fully funded the Child Life Program for another year. We were met with obstacle after obstacle, but I have been blown away not only by this executive team with me today, but the hundreds of students both at the University of South Carolina and across our Columbia community. You have shown immense resilience and strength and compassion for one another. You were not only there for our local Children's Miracle Network Hospital, but you have been there for each other and led our community. To everyone who had a hand in USC Dance Marathon this year, you have shown us the true meaning of what it means to be a Gamecock and a hero. I wanna offer a massive thank you to my fellow peers and student leaders at USC, our steadfast alumni, students at all of our many marathon schools and local school district partners, the faculty, staff, and leadership at the University of South Carolina, our advisors, the Prisma Health Foundation, and the incredible hospital staff who have helped make over 582,303 miracles possible this year. This proclamation of Dance Marathon Day is for you and is a celebration of the incredibly hard work and support you have given this year and throughout our 23-year history. With us today, we also have our new executive leadership team for the upcoming year. And as a graduating senior in May, I am so sad to be leaving this organization as a student, but I am beyond excited to see the new heights that you achieved this year. For anyone joining us virtually or online, if you have any questions about what USC Dance Marathon is or how you can become more involved, please check out our website at uscdancemarathon.org and follow our social media pages for updates on our events. Governor McMaster, thank you again for recognizing us with this special day and forever to the kids. Now I believe we have um, Christy Fink, the director of the Child Life Program at Prisma Health Children's Hospital Midlands. Good afternoon, I am Christy Fink, manager of Child Life and Special Programs at Prisma Health Children's Hospital Midlands. It is a great honor to be here today celebrating Dance Marathon with all of you. I have personal experience with the impact that Dance Marathon has made uh, throughout the years, profound impact that they have made in our community through their support of Children's Hospital and our Child Life Program. In this past year of uncertainty, when programs that are not billing for services um, were cut by many healthcare organizations, we were able to maintain our psychosocial programming at Children's Hospital because of the dedication and hard work from our Dance Marathon students at the University of South Carolina. We cannot do our jobs every day without them, um, and we know that patients need psychosocial care that equals their medical care in order for them to heal and become um, master their experiences and become productive adults in our society. So the care that we are able to give, the play opportunities, the way that we are able to meet children where they are and help them get to the next level is only possible because of the funding that we've received through Dance Marathon throughout the years. And one of the highlights of the things that they've been able to provide for us in addition to our programming, even during this um, pandemic year has been our playground and we are so proud to have that and our kids are just so ready to get out there. The weather's been beautiful the past couple of days and we have been sneaking a couple of kids out there so 
just this is a great day to celebrate Dance Marathon and all that they've done for us and all that they do for our community and the children in our community through our children's hospital here in the Midlands. Thank you all so much. Thank you, sir. Well, good afternoon, everybody. It really is a pr privilege uh, to be able to stand here with these incredible students to uh, really recognize what they have accomplished. They understand the secret of success in life is to serve and the ability to put the needs of other people before their own. They have demonstrated that in spades this past year with all the challenges that they have with respect to raising money in a COVID environment. But they did it, they succeeded, and Governor, I just want to say thank you so much, sir, for taking time out of your incredibly busy schedule to be able to thank the students and to recognize what they've accomplished. I also want to do a big thanks to Mr. Steven, um, I'm sorry, uh, Sam Tannenbaum for the work that he has done and support for this, this incredible program. You heard from our president, uh, student president of the, Dan of the University of South Carolina Dance Marathon, Grace. I want to thank her for her leadership. Without her leadership, we could never have accomplished what we did. And I do want to also say, thank Christy Fink, the Director of Child Life for Prisma. They have been doing this for a number of years. Not only did they raise $582,000 this year, but they have raised $6.7 million over the period of the, that they've been doing this. And as a father of children and a father of grandchildren, I know how much, and many of you are as well, I know how much you love your children. And when they need care, when they need some support in any capacity, there's nothing like people that you know that stand behind them that are going to do whatever is necessary to provide that support. So to the students, once again, thank you all so much for what you've done, what you stand for. It really is not only a display of your, your resilience in, in a pandemic, but it's, a, it's a, really a stigma of your character because of what, uh, what values that you stand for. So thank you so very much. Governor, again, really my honor to be able to be here and to stand here with you. The fact that you've taken such uh, precious time out of your day to be with us means an awful lot as well. So I'd like to, at this point, introduce our governor, Governor McMaster. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, President. <laughs> no, thank you very much. <clears throat> We are fortunate the bells aren't ringing upstairs. There's a lot of noise. That's, that's what it takes to make laws, and they're making some up there now. We may hear a few bells before long, but uh, they're good bells. That's a sign of progress. Uh, I want to thank all of you for being here. I want to recognize Sam Tannenbaum, who I think has been behind raising all of those $6 million and a number of other things, a great uh, civic citizen and son of South Carolina. We're very proud of you. Sam, but to the young people, I want to thank you for volunteering in this very important effort. Uh, there is nothing more important than you can do. And the spirit of volunteerism is one that is alive and well in South Carolina. As you know, during this pandemic, if we'd had to rely on employed staff to do all the things that were necessary, we'd have never gotten it done. We left a place this morning where they were giving vaccinations and almost everyone in the room, over 100 uh, people or so, were volunteers. We've had, uh, in when we had the site set up in Darlington at the raceway, uh, there were over 300 volunteers there. So this, this volunteer spirit is something that's much bigger than that word implies. It, it applies understanding the soul and significance of South Carolina. And those of us that are in these positions at this time are doing what we are doing in order to make life stronger and better for all of you young people. And one day it will be your turn. So it is good to see you getting a start as you are now. And we appreciate it. So it falls upon my great privilege to issue proclamations, which I will happily do now for you and for this day. State of South Carolina, Governor's Proclamation. <clears throat> Whereas each year, children across America face illness or injury, often without sufficient resources and support. Whereas the Miracle Network Dance Marathon is a national movement that raises funds and awareness for more than 170 children's hospitals across the country. 
And whereas South Carolina schools play a pivotal role in this movement every year, with each Miracle Network Dance Marathon program raising funds for their local children's Miracle Network Hospital, culminating in an 8 to 40 hour dance marathon event. And whereas South Carolina colleges and universities like Clemson University, the College of Charleston, Furman University, Lander University, Western Carolina University, and the University of South Carolina this year raised substantial funding for children's hospitals. And whereas the University of South Carolina, along with local school partners, Ben Lippin School, Cardinal Newman School, Casey Elementary School, Chapin High School, Dutch Fork High School, Hammond School, Ermin, Ermo High School, Lexington Richland School District 5, Manning High School, Ridgeview High School, and Wilson Hall raised $582,303 for Prisma Health Children's Hospital Midlands, the first freestanding children's hospital in the state. And whereas the people of South Carolina owe these organizations a debt of gratitude for their selfless efforts to support patients and their families. Now, therefore, I, Henry McMaster, governor of the great state of South Carolina, do hereby proclaim March 23rd, 2021, as South Carolina Dance Marathon Day throughout the state and encourage all South Carolinians to recognize South Carolina Dance Marathon organizations for their spirit altruism and unrivaled commitment to helping young people facing illness and hardship. Signed by me, Henry McMaster, a proud, happy governor of South Carolina and representing approximately 5.2 million proud, happy South Carolinians. Grace, if you will come forward and we'll hold it there for a photograph. Big smile, everybody. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Are there any questions? In that case, thank you very much, and thank you, Sam. All right, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.